Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Tuesday, November 12th. Another day, another record. There we go. S&P up again, up one and a half points only Monday on a shortened, well, as a Veterans Day holiday with lesser volume. 1767 and a half was a close, up one and a half. 1770 was a high, so not quite to the new all-time, not to the all-time peak from last week, but still a positive day and a new record close. Dow up 23, 15,723, 15,743 was the high yesterday. Again, a little bit off the uh, all-time highs. And the Nasdaq actually ended up down on the futures, down six and a quarter at 33.54 and a quarter. Again, remember the futures trade for another 15 minutes after the cash stock market closes at three o'clock central time. There's another 15 minutes, so whatever impacts the market then with earnings and so forth can push the uh, push those futures markets uh, up or down after the cash stock market close. All right, dollar index down 19 yesterday, 81.20. The euro pushed above 134, 134.04, up 48. Again, last week, when the dollar made new highs on Friday, the euro did not make new lows. So you're seeing a little divergence there. We'll see what that means here in the future. Bonds technically were closed with the currencies in the pits. Anyways, they traded electronically. Yesterday, they were down nine ticks, 131.15. Only a 14-point range between the high and the low in the bond market as bonds continue to go lower and yields continue to go higher. Crude oil up 54 cents, 95.14, back above the 95 level. So again, keep an eye on that bottom that we saw last week. You know, it made new relative lows and then closed unchanged on the week. So that may be the sign that the worst is over. And lastly, gold can't get off the mat, down another $3 at 12.81, still solidly below that 1300 pivot that we watch on a weekly basis. So after a new record yesterday, where do things stand here on this Tuesday morning? Well, we're off a little bit. We're at 1764, down three and a half in the E-mini S&P. 1775 was last week's high, last Thursday to keep an eye on. So we're still only 10, 11 points away from that as we stand right now. Dow futures down 18, 15,705, 15,779, the all-time high from last Thursday. So less than 100 points away. The NASDAQ right now is down seven at 33.47. Currencies continue on their upward swing in the dollar, 81.40 up 20, 133.85 down uh, 19 in the euro currency. And as we stand right now in the treasuries we're at 131.08 down seven that's pushed the yields up the yield on the 30 year uh, 30 year treasury bond right now is at 3.87 the 10 year notes at 2.77 so they continue to drift higher crude oil down 21 cents 94.93 right on this 95 level again last week's low was 93 and lastly gold 12.79 down two as it stands right now so to wrap up the current action, two hours to go before the cash stock market open, a little bit of weakness here overnight, 1764 down three and a half in the evening S&P and down 18 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Wednesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.